This is Leon for Saturday. Something new you haven't seen. This is a solo panel that I would decide to test, show you another test, how you can touch, test fluorescent without a battery or without household current. Just with a solar panel only. No inverter. We know we can test it and light it up with an inverter and no battery. This is done only by a solar panel to test it to see if the fluorescent some good. You see the connection, so it won't be but a minute. That's all you need to see. Okay, you've seen most of it, but not by a solar panel. You've seen me test it with batteries, and I'll just tell you, it can be tested with a 9-volt battery as well, okay? Now, this is the hookup. See, it's all safe. It's positive and negative on a fluorescent light bulb each end. You'll know it's good. You only leave it there a little bit because you're only testing. You don't leave it there to light it up. You use a, uh inverter or a battery to light it up. It will light up. But this is just to test the fluorescent light bulb with a solar panel only. I'll show you and put it down because it's easy and it's quick. Okay. You're looking at it right there. You see my hand here on the negative. I'm going to touch that negative and you'll see that light bulb light up. Can you see it? Says, can you see that light? I'm sure you can. You got to light it. It's light. I got a, I got it, uh, the door open. Okay. That's this end right here. Now I'm going to reverse that and show you the other end and I'm through. Okay, now let's see if you can see the other end. Okay, you can see the other end. Alright, this is the end that haven't been tested. I'm going to put it here. Remember, if it doesn't light up, it ain't on positive and negative. Okay, now it's, let me clamp it on and I'm through. There it is right there on the, the positive. I'm hoping that's wrong, right, positive. If it light up, you know it's right. Is it lighting up? See that? You see it lighting up? Okay, that's the way you test a fluorescent. You don't leave it on now. Okay, let me cut the light out. Maybe I mean close the door a little bit and you see more of what I'm talking about. Okay. Now that's on neg uh, uh that's on um uh, I think you can see that's on um uh positive and here's the negative to go. You should see the light bulb light up. See? The fluorescent light up. See? The fluorescent light up there. Okay. Now I do the other end and I'm finished. I just want to show you. With the door closed a little bit, you can see the light. You don't leave it on now. You're simply testing the light bulb. See if it's any good. Okay? It worked with positive and negative. I think you can see that right here. As the positive connected up, I'm going to put the negative on there. You see this, you see this, wait a minute. You should see this light up. That let you know the bulb is good all together. See it there? See it there? That let you know this light bulb is good. Okay? This fluorescent is good. Simply by a solar panel. Last time you see me touch touch, I mean test a fluorescent was with a portable power battery. Now you just seen something done by a solar panel. The, the bulb here, you can put that into your socket and the light bulb is good. Okay? That's positive and negative on the end. One wire leading all the way, as you can see, to the solar panel right here. And I think you can see the solar panel. And if you think I got a battery on there, I'll even pick it up and show you. That's the sun from our Father. Heaven. See it there? Ain't no battery under there. You don't see no battery from bottom to top under there, do you? It ain't supposed to be. This is showing you how the solar panel can light up. Okay? Light up. This fluorescent light bulb. 60 watt solar panel you're looking at. Light up and test a fluorescent light bulb. Mainly this is a test. 
you know if I want it light up, I use a, a inverter. It'll light up with an inverter and give light to the whole uh, fluorescent without a battery. Okay? Just showing you this. Remember, you can also test it with a 9-volt battery, too. Because it had positive and negative all together in the battery. And you can touch, test each end and get a light. If you don't believe that, try it and see. You know Leon is right. That's it for a Saturday miracle of knowledge from Father God to Leon to show you and the viewers there is more than you know. That's why I always say, lean not on your own understanding because it may not stand. Amen in Jesus' name. So long. Saturday.